Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Thursday morning. It's November 3rd. It's 4.15 a.m. <laughs> Happy Thursday. This is a little show I have been doing for quite some time. It is a show about me sharing some feelings I'm having or dealing with, some emotions I'm going through, sharing the ups and downs that is life. For those that have been watching a while, you know it's also a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I got a nice hot cup of coffee in front of me. I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you got a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's the hazelnut. Oh, it's Dunkin' Donuts. It's good, I'll tell you that. Part of me still sad, and I talked about it the last couple days, that the pumpkin spice season is passing. I only got probably one pot left in my uh, cupboard to make of the pumpkin spice. Went to the store yesterday, bought this hazelnut, and uh, the whole slot that would hold the uh, pumpkin spice bags was gone and empty. Kind of made me sad. Even talking about it now almost brings a tear to my eye. I should run out to all the stores, scour the aisles. <laughs> hey, do you guys have any pumpkin spice left? No. Hey, do you guys have any pumpkin spice left? No. That's me running from store to store looking for pumpkin spice. Yeah, it seems funny to me. Anyway, how are you guys doing? How you feeling? I just sleep. I slept pretty well. Uh, I went to bed very early. Uh, it was strange. I, uh, uh, I went to bed, actually got up. Sometimes I'll drift off and fall asleep on the couch watching a documentary or something like that or watching a movie. Uh, but I felt tired and felt peaceful and went to bed at uh, uh, 8.30 last night. It seemed so funny. I, was, I got a call or a text, excuse me, from a couple buddies uh, that I went to college with. And... <laughs> Uh, you know, they're friends I get together with, I don't know, every couple, three weeks or so, but they reached out last night and wanted, they were headed out and they texted both of them around just before eight o'clock and they were both, they were going to play pickleball at a park, not too, too far from my house actually. Uh, but at that time, at that moment, the thought of going playing pickleball seemed about as foreign to me as climbing Mount Everest. I was in my PJs, I was winding down, I was close to falling asleep, and I hadn't played, I haven't played pickleball since high school. <laughs> Apparently it's a popular thing to do. <laughs> People really enjoy it. I think there's actually a pro pickleball league and I remember it being kind of fun uh, in gym class in high school. But I don't know. <laughs> It's been 35 years or 40 years since I played pickleball. If I remember it right, it's it's like ping pong, but you're actually kind of standing on the table and you use a big or a wooden pallet paddle and you're hitting a wiffle ball back and forth. And uh, apparently it's very fun. My buddies seem to enjoy it a lot, but they need to know. <laughs> I, t I go to sleep early. You can't reach out to me at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Expect me to go play a sport. Oh, maybe you can. I appreciate the call. I appreciate that they were thinking of me and appreciate the care enough to reach out. Uh, so, anyway, it was interesting. I was laying in bed uh, a little bit ago and I was feeling anxious. I woke up around 3 30 and. Uh, for me, and probably for other people, because again, the more I do this, the more I realize we all go through stuff. Uh, for me, my bed can be the, one of the scariest places on earth. It's supposed to be a place of comfort, a place of peace, a place of relaxation. Uh, but sometimes uh, if I'm feeling anxious, there's no more terrifying place than my bed. Because the thoughts will go and you know, you'll be thinking about it, whether it's a work or a relationship or whatever issue you're dealing with, or maybe your car or whatever. Uh, but you can't do anything about it while you're laying in bed. You can't fix whatever problem. You can't talk to the person. You can't, you know, pay the bill or fix the car or whatever. 
And so your mind tends to, or my mind at least, tends to run wild at time to time, from time to time when I'm laying in bed. And I was starting to feel scared and fart, starting to feel anxious and sad and depressed and going, Ugh, what was me? And as silly as it sounds, I remembered I had this hazelnut coffee that I just bought yesterday sitting in my cupboard. And a little voice inside my head, I think it was God talking to me saying, Ken, get up and start your day. I know it's early, but you, you know, you've got enough sleep, get started. So I got up. Did my routine, which means feeding my dog, doing my yoga, brushing my teeth, all the while listening to some positive affirmations on uh, uh, through my speaker. And I'll tell you what, if you're struggling with anxiety, and I've talked about it before, give positive affirmations a try. Just hearing this gentleman's voice talk to me this morning while I was going through my stuff, uh, telling me that, you know, things are going to be okay. And that uh, I, you know, handle my anxiety smoothly and that, you know, I'm exactly where I need to be at this moment and um, that my life is a blessing, uh, made me feel so good and made me feel ready for the day and made me able to move one, put one foot in front of the other, make my coffee, hit play on this, start talking and uh, get my day started as well. So uh, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling scared, if you're feeling afraid out there, no, you're not alone because I think we all go through it, and I think there's hot and cold periods of those feelings uh, for all of us. And I'm just in a season of my life where it seems I'm uh, going through it more often than I'd like. And if you're in one of those seasons, uh, know, know that this season will pass, because fall is just coming to an end, and we got winter coming soon, and spring's around the corner. And with each change of season, each change of day, each change of the moment, um, we can feel better and we can be in a better place. And again, even like, I don't know, 45 minutes ago, I was laying in bed going, ah, what was me? <laughs> now I'm out here smiling, laughing, drinking some coffee, looking forward to my day. So um, your feelings can change and your look on life can change pretty quickly. So uh, hang in there. Uh, keep smiling if, if if you like to smile. I'm a smiler. I believe in doing you. So you do you. If you don't want to smile, don't smile. No, it angers some people when you tell people to smile. I get it. <laughs> so you do you. But anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day today. Hope you're enjoying your coffee. Hope you're excited about your day. You're feeling good uh, about yourself. And if you're not, that's okay, too, because in a little bit, maybe you will be. Um, I hope you're loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.